So guys, here yeah, this is the um, HP printer and the model code is M111W which you can see here. So I'm going to show you guys the inner contents of this particular HP printer so that you guys will be able to see what this particular printer comes with. So without wasting much of your time guys, let's dive into the video. So here we come. So as you can see, this is the manual. This is the manual of this particular HP printer with modern code of 111, M111W. So in case of if you find any difficulty in, you know, in setting up this particular printer, then you can make use of this particular manuals. But nevertheless, I'm going to show you guys the inner content of this particular speaker and also show you guys how to reset and also how to set it up. So without talking more further, do well to subscribe to the channel so that you will not be able to miss out any of this video. So here is, here is the AC and DC um, charger, charger head. Which you, this is the DC, this is the AC charger head. So it comes with two chargers in case of if one is faulty, then you can now serve as a replacement. So it comes with a two charger. Then here is the cable, USB cable for, you know, for printing from your laptop or from your system. So here is it, this particular one. Then this is the main guy here. So here is, here is it, so which you guys can see. This is the printer and you can see how it is very portable and very simple. So this is basically for um, for personal and also for office use at your own convenience. So it is very portable and very unique. So let me just you know, show you guys basically on the things you need to know about this particular printer. So which come come closer. So you guys can see here this particular button here, this this particular wireless Wi-Fi, and this particular button here is for you to be able to print out the default settings of this particular printer, which which will contain the password. And here also, here also is the power button, which is the power on and power off button. So that is it. So let's just get down into business. So let's just, you know, um, turn off the, the system with this particular DC, DC charger. So all I just need to do is turn over to the back of the printer. So the back of the printer, you, you, you input this particular socket. So once, once you are done, then this particular one, the DC head will go to the socket. Then this this particular one here, this particular one here is the cable for the for connecting to the system. So which is this particular spot here will go to this place. Then this particular USB spot will go to your laptop. So. As you can see, as you can see, this particular button here, this particular Wi-Fi is showing connection. So for you to be able to connect with, with your mobile phone or your system, you need to uh, you need to download an app called HP Smart App. Uh, I will also show you guys how you can easily set up the, the, the particular app I'm talking about. So just stay tuned in this video and do not go anywhere. So then as you can see, the power on and off button is showing green. And this particular button that we, which, which, which can be used to print um, this, the settings of this particular printer, then let's just go straight to the business. So let's just get an A4 paper so we can be able to use it okay so here is an A4 paper so you can be able to print out this particular details of, of, of this printer so just set up this particular set out here you pull it back first and foremost you need to know that the cartilage is inside of it already which you can see then then you open up this particular place you bring it down then you bring this particular one up then you come back to this particular side you bring it out then once you are done, then you sit in, come closer so that you're able to see. So this particular place here, you shift it towards, you push it down to, in order to contain this particular A4 paper. Or if it's um, maybe A2 or A1, then you also shift it, also shift it like this. I hope you can see. Then if it's A4, because A4 is the maximum paper size of this particular printer. Then you input your A4 paper. Then go back to the, um, the power, um, the, this particular button, the intermediate button here, this particular one. You press hold it. You press hold it. You press hold it for a long time, so, so that you are able to print out the printer settings, which contains the password and other information that you need. Okay. You can see. Then you take it off. Now you see. So it's now printing out the settings of this particular printer, which you can see. Okay. Then the first thing you need to do is to, for you to be able to reset 
this particular printer, then you just need to you know press hold this particular wireless Wi-Fi here. So once you press hold it, you hold it for um for like some seconds, then a light will display here. Then we'll be able to you know get hold of out of it. So as you can see, this particular place is blinking. Then it will indicate a a color right. Uh, I think it's red color. Then okay, as you can see, the color is coming up. The color is coming up. So once the color comes up, then you leave it. So then it automatically resets itself. As you can see, the three lights are blinking. That simply means that this particular printer is being reset. As you can see. So once this light blinking stops, then it will go to the next process whereby to see if this, this particular printer is at function. Okay, as you can see, the light has gone off. So now it will now have to print out this particular empty A4 paper. Okay, so once you are done with the reset, always know that you, there is one particular stuff you need to remove from the inner you know this particular printer. So and this is this, this particular cartridge here. Yeah? You just need to pull it out. And also to remove all those you know cylinders used to cover this particular printer. And also this is the inner inner cylinder that you need to you know remove out of this particular cartridge. So of which you can see it's kind of somewhere here. So you, you will need to pull it out out of this particular cartridge so that it, it, it will be able to print you know normally for you. So let's just put it back and then get down to business. Okay, so this is the rightful position, which you can see. Then you close it back. Then once you are done, then we turn it back on it, turn it on again. Then let's see how it goes. So let's just you know see if we can be able to print the settings of this particular printer which contains the password. Then we press hold here. Then once you press hold it for some seconds, then you pull back. Okay. okay guys so here we go, here we come so as you can see once you're able to press hold this particular button here this particular button here you press hold it for some seconds then you release it out then it will be able to print out all the settings that contains both the printer slap um, password and details and also some usual names that you need to know about this particular printer so this this contains the details you need to know about the particular this particular MIIW printer. So this is how basically you can be able to print out the details from this particular printer. So without wasting much much of your time again. So, so another one is just for you to be able to you know um, connect your smartphone or your system with this particular printer. So that's why I said you need to download an application called um, HP Smart App. So once you download that, and I'm also going to show you that how you can be able to set up that particular application, and also how you can also download the application. So once you download the application, then all you need to do is to come over to this particular place here. You open up this particular space, then you will be required for this particular username and also password here. This detail that is here, so you can be able to use this to be able to sign up with that particular um, particular application. So this is the what I'm talking about. This particular details here. Then you need to copy it. Then from your own um, printer. Then you copy it and also use it to activate the application. So I'm going to also show you guys the steps so you can able to know how you can be able to do that as well. So stay tuned, let's go guys. Okay guys, so um, if you want to basically download this particular HP Smart App, so I'm going to show you guys how you can easily download it and also be able to set up the H uh, HP Smart App with your printer. Definitely, you have to, you have to follow instructions. So if you're making use of Android device, you come over to your Play Store. Then if you're making use of um, um, uh, Apple device, you can just go through your Apple Store and download the HP Smart App. So just come over to this particular Play Store here. Yeah? You click on it. Then the next step here is for you to be able to come over to the search um, search button, which is this particular search button here. Then you click on it and you search for HP smart app so which you can see this particular one showing on the top of my screen so then you click on it then you click on the first one then it will not give you it will not display the hp smart app for your feet basically i already have it on my phone so that is why it's um, kind of showing um open so but for you that is needed to download this particular application all you just need to do is for you to be able to um click on install so you just click on install and install it to your phone so once you are done installing it then the next thing you have to do is to click on open then you open it up so let's open it so once the hp smart app is opening then you're able to you know accept all the all the prompts which is allowed allow hp smart to send you to send you notifications you click on allowed then you allow it to be able to send the notification this time you are making use of it so as you can see it's processing then the next step is for you to be able to accept or you click on accept all then as you can see, this is a welcome to HP Smart. 
then all this instruction you know when you're using this particular app HP collects some, uh, some required uh, functionality data from your mobile or desktop device the app uses this data to support HP so all the, all the thing to do is to click on accept all accept all the information that is being required so it's been connecting to the HP service so um, as it's you know processing and then as you can see now at this particular point now then you need, just need to click on sign up a new printer you sign up a new printer but definitely if you already have um, already um uh, account sign in it's just for you to be able to log in or sign in into your account but it's, if, if it's your first time you just quietly just need to you know set up a new printer then you click on it you click on set up a new printer then as you can see if it's via wi-fi or if it's by ethernet uh, ethernet uh, cable which this particular cable or uh, wi-fi so it basically the lap this, this particular mii W laptop is Wi-Fi, so I just need to do is to click on wireless Wi-Fi. This particular one, sh this particular first one, this particular one here, you click on it. So, but if you're making use of uh, Ethernet cable, Ethernet cable, you click on Ethernet cable. But the purpose of this video is making use of Wi-Fi. Then you click on continue. Then you click on continue as well. So no internet um, connection. There appears to be a problem with your internet connection. Please check your internet connection and then try again. So definitely, um, I'm currently, you know. Uh, I'm not in a, in a stable um, internet connection location, so this is basically how you can be able to, you know, set up your your printer and be connected with your wireless Wi-Fi printer. So and it just, just for you to follow the procedures, as you can see, I have a, a low kind of internet connection here. So this is basically how you can be able to, you know, set up this particular printer of yours. Then you follow the um, the prompt, the procedures, you know, the write up, and be able to connect your own printer as well. So basically, there is a point where you, where it will reach and it will require the um the printers usual um, usual um, name and also password of which i showed you you can just for you to for you to be able to open up the um, cartridge and the cartridge um, section and be able to copy up that's your usual details over there so once you are done with it it's very easy it's very simple to connect so basically this is how you can be able to you know um, download and set up your printer you know accordingly so i hope uh, I, i've been able to you know um, take you guys this far and also be able to you know show you guys step by step how you can easily you know set up your printer a new printer of yours so i believe that i am able to you know pass through that knowledge to you guys so if you find out in this my video please do well to like subscribe and share